scriptures here this afternoon. Um, uh, we'll open up, start off in Hebrews 12, chap, uh, chapter 12, verse 1. Um, therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us uh, hold on a second. Just pause it, pause it. Uh, how do I make this a bit taller? There we go. There, you go. there we go. I can see now. Yeah, I was like having to bend down and read my Bible. Okay. <laughs> therefore, okay, chapter 12, verse 1. Therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, uh, despising the shame and has set down at the right hand of the throne of God. So I want to have a look um, here today uh, that, that the concept of running the race with endurance and uh, that's kind of like um you know as we're walking with walking with the lord we're running a race and and to get to the finish line is going to be when we uh meet him in the air and um when you're racing like like this is an endurance race not not a sprint or like a hill climb or anything like this we gotta we gotta begin it for the long haul and um uh, just like I'm not thinking about because like you know my background I'm not thinking about a running race I'm thinking like a car race so we don't like when we're running our race do we want to have like like a Geo Metro like I used to have <laughs> or do you want to have like a Lamborghini or a Ferrari or something something worthy of running a race in because um like yeah with that that geo that's not gonna win any races. <laughs> um it's kind of like the 24 hours of Le Mans, like you gotta you gotta run that's like an endurance race, it's tough, it's grueling, like you gotta on the track for 24 hours, like that's insane. But like when we're when we're running our race in the spirit, um what are we what are we gonna have to to help us? And um the title of my talk is um how do you how do you boost your walk slash run the race and so these um racing cars they you want to have lots of power you need to have the power to finish the race to get through it and um how do you make power is like with uh naturally aspirated engines which is what most engines are they they can only make so much power and then you have to start uh, modifying them and to, to get more power out of them. And that's where you have this magical device called a turbo. And um, you can make lots of power with a turbo. And it, that's, it basically, it takes waste, which is leaving the engine like exhaust, and it spins a turbine and a compressor and forces more in, air into the engine. So you're taking a waste product and adding power um to to help you move forward and go quicker and it's like you know walking the lord like you, we take the trials and the the situation like the things the hardships kind of take all the trials and the bad stuff and that's the waste we want to get rid of and we need to use that to accelerate further like to to like just get excited about the lord press in this kind of gives us that boost to keep on um walking forward so that's the kind of the pun in my my title there but you want like we need to like find our ways to get pumped up get excited about the lord just to give us the endurance and the power to keep on going through to the end get through to the end um <clears throat> another thing we need to think about as well is um you know what 
what we put in, what we take in, because that affects what we put out. So like we want to make sure we're we're getting some good spiritual food and not relying on like, you know, we're on a fellowship, you know, like instead of listening to the radio, why don't we put on a talk or um listen to some choruses or stuff like it's just some some good uplifting stuff to put in to help us like have the right frame of mind for what we want to put out. Um, it's like when you go to fuel up your car, you want to, you want the best fuel. Like you put the 92 octane in, you don't get fuel out of the drum that was sitting behind some farmer's barn that's full of water and rust. And yeah, I have to deal with that sometimes at work. Um, I had, we had, I had an excavator. I was working on it, um, stopped running and, I pulled the fuel filter out and tapped it out and all the rust and the dirt and stuff was coming out of it. So you, you want to have good fuel going in to increase our performance going out. So that's really important <clears throat> in uh, cars and machines, especially in the in our walk in the Lord. So we got these, like all these things that we have to look at, but it's, it's, it's all about having that endurance and the power. Cause like you, you think about, um, I don't know if you guys seen like they have sand races where they're climbing up these big sand dunes and you like the cut, like if you just take a standard car and you think it would get halfway up and just run out of power and die. But see these buggies that have like a thousand horsepower and they just keep on going and going and have the power to climb to the top and get over the top of the sand dune. So we need, that's what we need to do in our walk in the Lord is have the, the power for the endurance to run that race. <clears throat> yeah, let's have a look here. And we'll go to the next scripture. Second Timothy chapter four. Doing an old school today with paper. Second Timothy chapter four and verse six, and this is Paul writing to Timothy. For I have already been poured out as a drink offering, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, and I have kept the faith. Uh, finally, there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord. Uh, the righteous judge will give to me on that day and not to me only, but also to all who uh, have loved his appearing. And that's the, that's the goal is we want to be able to say that we, we finished the race. So right now we're still running, but we need to keep all these things in mind to make sure that we finish because there's no point um, putting all that effort in if we're not planning on getting to the, getting to the end. But like no one starts a race just thinking, oh, we, we like don't worry about finishing. We'll just we'll just race, and we don't we don't plan on getting to the end. Like you, everyone that starts the race has a plan of getting of getting to the end. Um, but so, I know sometimes it's it's hard to remember that it is an endurance race. So we don't want to like we don't want to burn out. We don't want to go too hard too fast, put all the effort in at the, at the beginning and then burn out and crash and then not finish the race. Because I know there's um, plenty of examples over like, I'm sure everyone has seen people that have come along and like really on fire for the Lord and then they just burn out and fade away. And that's, that's the importance of it, especially helping our brothers and sisters and new people that come along as we want to help them grow, so to speak, like, um, like, you know, if, if like, you know, the, the Holy Spirit in them is a fire, we want to start small, build it gradually and help it burn into a big fire that's sustainable instead of just pouring a cup of petrol on the fire and it explodes and then dies in like 10 seconds. We need to think about the endurance of it. But, <clears throat> excuse me. That's the goal, uh, like Paul has said here, is to finish the race and keep the faith. So 
if we uh, follow these these few and if if you're having a hard time or you're praying for something, I think I've heard uh, I can't remember who said it. Go witness to six people and then see if your problem's still there. And like you just get that buzz from witnessing to people and sharing the word of God. Like that's such such a a cool thing about the Holy Spirit is it really just builds you up and gets that fire going, like gets gets the boost pumping inside of you. So I like to leave those couple thoughts there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.